Warriors, welcome to Warrior Wednesday. It's the first week of November, November 4th. Yesterday was election day, so for all of my peeps in the U.S., uh, we are... We are waiting to see how things are going to be unfolding and whatever side you're on. My hope is, is that you actually went out and you voted and you had your voice be heard because your voice matters. And, uh, you know, we'll find out what the results are. So uh, and I also want to say that whatever the outcome is, it's going to be perfect. And we also get to be uh, loving and we also get to be one you, uh, humanity, one heart, one unison, because we are one humanity, whether you believe that or not, we are connected, we are very connected, we're all interconnected, and we're one. So, with that being said, uh, you know, we still get to be kind, and we get to love each other no matter what. So, uh, so that's that. So, with that being said, uh, we're, like I said, the first week of November, and um, if you're tuning on here live, say hi, give yourself some hearts, let me see you. If you're catching the replay, comment with hashtag Encore, and let me know that you are here, so I can say thanks for tuning in, and also, uh, anytime you're catching the replay, I want to hear from you what your biggest takeaway is, so that that, you know, I see what landed for you and what made a difference for you. All right, loves. Okay. So with that being said, uh, we are speaking into uh, getting unstuck. So are you in a space where you wanted to go further along in your journey, like whether you have a goal or you have a dream or you're somewhere uh, in, you know, an area of life that's important for you that you were like, oh, I wish I was further along in, in my journey. If that's you, then you've come to the right place. Um, I'm, we're going to speak about creating progress and creating movement instead of being and feeling stuck. So if you've ever felt stuck or you're currently stuck, please say I, because I would love to hear from you and also would love to see you. And by the way, you're not alone because you know, we, we're human. We all get stuck at some point in, in our journeys. Okay. So, um, yeah, so creating movement is, is really, really important. What I do want to say as well is I do believe in collective consciousness. And when, when one person experiences stuckness in life, I, I notice other people do as well. And so I've been speaking with several of my clients this week and a general theme I've been seeing is that they're feeling stuck. Uh, they're not making the progress or they're beating themselves up, not thinking thinking that they're actually making progress when in reality they are making progress and it's really interesting how we doubt ourselves and how we let the ego get in the way and stop us from actually truly making progress so if any of this resonates with you uh, give yourself some heart so I can see you and see that we're connected here, okay? So here's some ways for you to get unstuck. So, uh, and that's my intention. I have some ways and strategies for you. And before I go into that, I want to share a quick quote about movement because uh, one quote by V.S. N N I guess Nepal, Nepal? <laughs> I hope I did butcher his name. He said, the world is always in movement. So we're always moving. So if you're finding yourself stuck, not making any progress, not moving anywhere, you're going to be a dinosaur. And that's not the intention because before you know it, we're in November, we have December, and then that's a wrap for 2020. And 2020 has really been an interesting year to say the least, as I'm sure you, you know, and you've seen and, and you've experienced. So here are some ways for you to get unstuck. So one thing is, uh, and, and again, you could go back to the replay of the, the first episode because I did share with you some other ways for you to get unstuck and to create movement. So you can go, you can go to my YouTube channel and access that. However, this is like a continuation of that conversation. So what you get to do is you get to connect with what you're passionate about. So ask yourself, what is something I'm very, very passionate about that I know will make a difference for other people? So connect with what that is for you and, 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 and make it happen. Okay. So connect with something that that you're passionate about then that not only will make a difference for you it'll also also make a difference for other people you also want to be generous with your gifts because being stingy is not a good place to be in and when you're being generous and you're giving and you're offering your gifts and your talents to other people people see you and it makes a difference for people's lives so be generous with sharing your gifts okay you also want to simplify you know so if you have a goal and we talked about reverse engineering last week is you want to you want to simplify take write down simple steps on how you're going to get there and simplify the steps so that when you're taking the steps it doesn't feel like you're 
eating an elephant. And, you know, they say, you know what they say about eating an elephant, you eat it one chunk at a time, one piece at a time. No one eats a full elephant, right? So, so simplify, keep it easy, keep it simple. Uh, you also want to challenge yourself. You want to be comfortable getting uncomfortable. And so the opportunity here is notice your pattern notice when you get into uh, a comfy zone like you're, you're comfy right and then you ask yourself what would be stretchy what would be uncomfortable for me so that when you step in the uncomfortness of things that's where the growth happens that's where the learning happens and that's where the evolution happens your evolution your growth and your opportunity so ask yourself what you know what is stretchy for me what is uncomfortable for me and and get comfortable being uncomfortable the other thing also you get to be uh and you get to sh uh, shift into is if you see something you don't like you be it okay so if you see people are being mean be nice <laughs> if you're be the change you want to see in the world that's really what i'm saying okay um and you know you want to you want to see like okay if something is missing be what's missing in the space and then when you be what's missing in the space you will create it because people will catch on and they will see it they'll feel it they'll experience it and then they will shift so be what you see is missing um and be the change you want to see and i said this in, a, in one of the posts about voting is instead of bitching about things start pitching okay so stop bitching and stop start pitching start start pitching in contributing instead of like sitting back and complaining and bitching i mean that just doesn't it doesn't work right so so that's my invitation to you uh you want to also ask yourself what is a project that you've started that you haven't completed? And that could be something that you wanted to do in the beginning of the year or whatever the deal is that you were like, oh my God, if I had, if I accomplished this, that would make 2020 an amazing year. So make a list of all the different projects that you had that you were like, you know, I wish that you actually started it, but you never got to complete, complete it and make a commitment to be rigorous and to complete it in excellence between now and the end of the year. Okay. Uh, also, you get to say, no to things that don't align with your vision and here's what I mean by that I don't like for example I'll give you a couple of quick examples so uh, I don't hang out with people who gossip I just don't there's no time there's no time for that there's no capacity for that um, and I say no to stuff like that so gossiping is a no toxic people no toxic foods no you know what I mean like you know to when I say toxic I mean like not, not eating healthy, uh, doing things that you know will not serve your body or your higher purpose. All of these things I say no to. So I'm giving you some examples, okay? So say no to things that don't directly align with your vision. Um, and the other thing, one final thing I'll leave with you is when you're stuck, facilitate movement in other people. So focus out. So what I mean by that, if you're feeling stuck, reach out to someone, ask them how they're doing. And if they're stuck, Support them, assist them in being unstuck because in you facilitating them being unstuck, you will find a way for yourself to get unstuck. And it's just so beautiful how that happens when you when we give to other people. It just facilitates movement for us, okay? So that's a wrap, guys. All right, those are your uh, top strategies here. And here's your mission for this week, and I'm going to wrap this up in a minute. So pick a project. here. So it's three parts. Your mission is three parts. Pick a project that you've started and stopped, but you're committing to completing. And share what this project is so that I can support you and cheer you on and, and, and advocate for you in completing it, okay? So pick a project uh, that you have completed and commit to completing it the second thing you get to do is find a friend who's stuck and assist them in getting unstuck and if you want to share what they were stuck in and how you supported them and how you assisted them amazing that would be very generous of you to do that so that we all learn from each other okay and then finally um, we are doing a 30-day beast before the feast challenge which is a 30-day fitness challenge i'm going to post the link to the facebook group if you want to hop on and be part of that we are on day 11 as we speak it's there's still time if you want to hop on and get in the best shape of your life before thanksgiving all right guys thanks for tuning in on warrior wednesday see you next week same time same station warrior wednesday one uh, one o'clock i was gonna say 1 30 one o'clock pacific four o'clock eastern all right guys sayonara